Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the test setup and teardown functionality in Robot Framework. So before I get into the details of the test setup and test teardown functionality and why it is important and what are the advantages of test setup and test teardown, let me run this particular test case and I'll make I'll ensure that this fails and then we'll explain why you need the test setup and test teardown functionality and what is the benefit so let me change the text here so that it cannot find and the test case will fail and then try to execute this particular test case so let me run this and now it's the usual same test case that we are using since the beginning of the tutorial so it will open ebay.com maximize the browser search for a certain text uh, and then verify the results right so here if you see now this browser hasn't closed or it hasn't progressed further right so if i go to the pie charm here now you can see the test case has already executed and there is an error screenshot already printed if we go to the report here and open the report so in the report you will see the test case has failed right if i go to the all test case and in the details here you can see that keyword user defined keywords verify search results there is a failure there and the keyword selenium library page should contain rib results that hasn't been found right so if you see here would say page should contain this but did not right so it couldn't find this particular test text because i modified it manually now since i haven't used test setup and tear down what happens is as soon as your test case fails your browser won't be closed so the advantage of test setup and tear down um, functionality is that even though there are failures in your test steps or the execution script that you are you are executing the test setup and teardown will always run irrespective of the passing or failure of the steps in your test case so for example in this scenario this test step has failed even though after the failure it would have gone through and executed the test uh, tear down process even after the failure if we would have used test setup and tear down so let's see how we can utilize test setup and test tear down and then re-execute the same test case and see the differences so here you can see the start test case and finish test case is basically opening the browser so start test case is all about opening the browser and opening ebay.com in the respective browser and finish test case is about closing the browser right so we can move these keywords into the test setup and teardown and to move these test uh, steps into test setup and teardown is simply go to the settings and then start typing test space setup hit enter and you will see the two spaces have been provided automatically and just i'll just cut the start test case and paste it there just let me make it two spaces there right and similarly i'll just move test tear down okay and move the finish test case into the tear down process all right so now let me remove the spaces there yeah. so now you can see the test setup and tear down have been specified with the start test case and finish test test case into the test setup and tear down section mentioned there um, so now if we try to execute this particular test case let's re-execute this and see if the browser gets closed this time let me close this browser here and re-execute this test case so this time even though the failure will happen but because we have specified the test tear down which is closing the browser even though the test case fails it should still close the browser 
right so now you can see the browser has been closed and if we go to the report here even though there is a failure here right you can see that there is a setup section there right which is start the test case and there is a tree and there is a tear down section here which is finish the test case which is coming from the common functionality now these setup and tear down functionality or will always execute irrespective of the result of the test case now this is the previous result if you see there was a keyword common functionality which was into the start test case and the end test case didn't execute because there was a failure within page should contain keyword right so there is no further result being logged into the execution results however in the new test execution log you can see setup and teardown have been executed now the next thing i want to cover is you can append your keywords with the name of the file or the resource file from where it is coming from so for example verify search results is coming from this particular uh, file which is ebay user defined keywords so we can simply copy the name I'll copy the name and i can append these with a dot and then similar thing we can do with, with the common functionality so we know common functionality methods are or the keywords are for the tear down and setup so we can simply say common functionality dot start test case common functionality dot finish test case the reason this is advantageous is because say for example you have a similar keyword defined which does a little bit more extra steps or uh, the, the name sort of clashes right with the keywords that are defined in different resource files so if you prepend or you use this particular name of the file then you are pretty much sure from which file or which name or resource file this particular keyword is being referenced automatically when this test case get executed in the results it does log the details right if you go to the results here it will log the details of the file name right so here if you see it will log the details there but in case there are two keywords with the same name there it might become confusing and that is why if you use these file names here then it becomes really easy for you to understand exactly from the test case which keyword user defined keyword is being referenced from which resource file so that's another good practice to utilize so hope this clears about the test setup and tear down functionality in robot framework in the next tutorial we will learn about the page objects and using page objects in robot framework so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching